Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please take a seat in the nearest available Tranquility Lounger. Thank you for your cooperation. Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? 
Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. What can I do for you, sport? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Nope, afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Another perfect Saturday afternoon. Make sure you enjoy it, sport. Of course it is. You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Even old lady dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Have a great day. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Yep, you've got that right. Heck of a day to get some work done outdoors. Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Take care now! Hi there. I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Your dad? Nope, I haven't. Did he get lost? It's okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty. And she's kind of, well, she's mean. What? You're weird. See you later. Hello. Good day to you. No, sweetie, I have it. I'm sure he'll come looking for you before long, though. It sure is, but it always is here. Well, George and I have been here, why, as long as I can remember. What? Oh, sweetie, maybe you should just run along and play. Have a great day. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I don't know. What's he like? <laughs> That's your daddy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is going to be the best game ever. I said we're going to play a game. So that's what we're going to do. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry and then come back here so we can talk some more. Hello. Hi. Want to play? What? Did I do something bad? No, no. Not my mommy and daddy, no. 
Hey there, sport. How's it going? Good day to you. Well, hi there. Your dad? No, I haven't. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Roger suggested we move here. I don't quite remember when that was. It's very nice. We're doing quite well. Oh, you're such a kidder. Bye-bye! You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. It's in there. Has to be. Has to be in there.
Madison Estate is in tip-top shape, young master. Have a wonderful day. Good day to you, young master. Hello. Well, hi there. I don't think so, but then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. I suppose. I hadn't really noticed. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. Have a great day. Hello. Good day to you. He disappeared on you, huh? Don't worry, I'm sure you'll find him soon. You won't find a day like this anywhere else. Heck of a place to live. Janet and I, well, we're quite happy here. Sure, sport, whatever you say. <laughs> Have a great day. Good day to you. Say, Martha. Hello there. Sure is a beautiful day today. Later. Yay! I knew you could do it! Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. Ah, yes. A predictable question, I suppose. Your father is here, in Tranquility Lane. He is quite safe for now, though he can no longer hound me with his incessant questioning. Perhaps you will see more of him in time. Were I you, I'd be more concerned with myself at the moment. And besides, we're done with questions for now. Perhaps we'll address it at a later time. First, I have something else for you to do. Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married, and I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage, and we'll talk. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion.
Good day to you. What were you doing in our basement? What's down there? Okay, if you say so. Well, hi there. What's this? Women's clothing? Down here? What? What the hell is this? But... This isn't mine. What is this doing here? Oh my god! Roger! He... He wouldn't... But... This has to end. Take care now. Good day to you. Have a great to this. I just don't understand. Why would Roger do such a thing? It doesn't make sense. You have turned out to be quite resourceful, it seems. I am slightly impressed. I enjoy your company far more than your father's. He responded quite negatively to my requests. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? He's here, and he is unharmed. He has merely been rendered unable to bother me. Oh dear, now you don't even believe me. How disappointing. I assure you. James and I talked at length before you arrived. Now let's continue before I grow bored with you. Attempting to maintain the illusion of control, are we? How quaint. Very well. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. Do something unique, something unexpected. Surprise me. Still you resist me, when you know that I have the answers you seek. Well, I am not going to beg you. You know what I ask of you, and so you know what you must do to retain my favor. Have you met Doc the Dog? He's another new arrival, much like yourself. He might seem a bit <laughs> familiar to you, huh? If you insist on an answer, then you may better know me as Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I've chosen a different appearance for myself here, in my own little playground. You know that I am Dr. Braun. Anything else is irrelevant. Perhaps you should be focusing your energy on what I've asked of you. 
Run along now. I have told you what I want from you. Are you through pouting? Excellent. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Remember, creativity is key. Mabel Henderson needs to die, but in a creative, fun sort of way. I'm sure you'll think of something. Run along now. Hello. Hello. Good day to you. Take care.
afternoon. I guess it was nothing. Mabel, killed by her own robot. I suspect she never saw that coming. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now we come to the last task that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. I think you'll find that I have been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you, and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years! My body is in no condition to be used for anything! And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No, no, I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you, you will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits.
Pick two. She went swing. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. I can't reset it, don't you see? The failsafe disabled the security protocols. They're all dead, for good. All my friends, gone. Now I'm stuck here by myself. <laughs> Didn't you figure it out, huh? The dog, so loyal, so trusting, so annoying. I simply made him what he always was. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt, when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Why do you torment me? You know who I am. You know that I am really Dr. Braun, that I created this place. And now I'm trapped here. It's all your fault. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Run along now! Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes, but what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. Of course, son. What's on your mind? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Son, 
If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did, and I don't want that to have been for nothing. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. What's on your mind? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Be careful, my son. Shall I join you once again? As you command. And I shall follow. I'm sorry that I am not at liberty to chat right now.
that's just I didn't know what to do. Welcome to Rivet City. Nice to see you. Hey there. Hey there. Did you hear about the fight in the Muddy Runner last night? If you 
you won the gun, you've come to the right place.